Welcome back everybody to another video where today guys, we are going to be seeing how different fireworks here react when we put them underground as you guys see. And it'll be as simple as just covering it up and we will see how it performs underground. I understand guys, I did a video doing this in the past. However, not all of those fireworks were ordinary fireworks that you guys could just purchase from the stand. So today we will be using original fireworks that you guys can purchase just about anywhere and we'll see how they do underground. First up here are the Whistling Moon Traveler. This is a gross of them, as well as the 100 pack of Navy Seal Crackers. There is a 100 in here, and we will see how these consumer firecrackers will perform underground, as well as the strip of firecrackers. I have the Black Cat ones, as well as the Venom Fireworks firecracker strips. And we've also got the Patriot Stick, and we'll see how the mud interacts with it. Next up, we've got this crackling type strip, I believe. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the name is. I think it was called Magic Whip, now that I'm remembering. And it's basically just just a strip of crackle. So we'll see how it does under the dirt. Again, hoping that the fuse does not get too wet and degrade performance. Along with the TNT ground bloom fireworks. These are going to be absolutely amazing because flowers always have a beautiful effect and it should be just that much more interesting to see what they do underground. Next up is the Cracker Barrel. I have done a couple of demos on these things in the past and they really just crackle for a super long time. And yes, guys, this video could not go without showing the crackling balls. There are six in here and we might do four at a time. It really just depends. Again, I am trying to save as many fireworks fireworks as I can for the 4th of July. And next up we have the Jumbo Crackling Balls Orange Label. Now I probably won't be lighting all of them, but I will definitely have a couple of them or even just one at most. I need one to just work underground and that's it. Next up here are the Chinese Firecrackers and I don't know exactly what the name of these are. I think they're called like Lady Cracker or something. And they are way smaller compared to the other firecrackers right there. I did show these in my previous firework stash video. So now you guys will finally get to see what they do. This right here should be pretty self-explanatory. All right, so here is the bottle rocket and we're gonna go ahead and just place it in the dirt just like so. All right, guys, bottle rocket underground. Look at the hole that that has made. Now this dirt is pretty loose, so it does make sense that it displaced that much dirt. Just to confirm guys what that's going to be doing for now on, let's go ahead and do this one more time. Oh, I just got all dirty. Look at how all the smoke is just inside the dirt. It's almost like it's just in air pockets. I'm trying not to get my hands too dirty, guys, because I do need them for the video. Let's go ahead now, and we will do this bottle rocket underground. And guys, this should be absolutely insane right here. Wow, that was crazy. There is the bottle rocket stick. I'm gonna go ahead and try that one more time. And now this time, guys, I'm gonna try to cover it as much as possible. could not even hear that thing whistle. And now we will be moving on to the firecrackers, but before we do these guys, we have to start small and try the Navy SEAL cracker. Okay guys, here goes the first one partially underground. Ooh, not bad. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. <laughs> Whoa. Believe me when I say this, guys, these firecrackers are really no joke. Now, guys, it's time to just absolutely bury this thing and see how it does. Oh, I'm sorry, little firecracker. Rest in peace. Oh, not my lighter. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you could still hear it. And now guys, we will try the Black Cat Firecrackers. Now I'm honestly not sure which ones to try next between the Venom Firecrackers and the Black Cat, but because the Black Cats are more traditional, I thought that it was only fair to try these first. And guys, without any further hesitation, I gotta get this thing open and let's see how it does. Guys, I could not tell you how exciting this is to open up a package of firecrackers. 
Now I have to say guys, I am a bit confused on how the fuse is laid out on this one because it's right next to the fast fuse, which I don't want. And guys, there's another fuse up here that has the fast fuse connected to the main green fuse. So that is a little bit confusing. So I've just made sure to go ahead and pull that white fuse out because I really don't want these things starting early. Now guys, I'm gonna do my absolute best to make sure that this fuse does not fail. And here we go guys. I don't know how well this will work, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cover the firecrackers like so. It's better not turn into an absolute complete waste. All right guys, three, two, one. Here goes firecrackers underground. I am gonna have to pray that this works. Look at all the debris, how it just spit out right here. Basically no debris left because we didn't leave any wrapping on it. Now, just before we get ahead of the game, guys, let's go ahead and see how the Patriot stick does underground. All right, guys, now it's pretty hard to see, but the Patriot stick is right there. So it will have all this ground to cover right here, and I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen. Remembering that this thing has to tunnel underground, this is going to be absolutely amazing. There it goes, guys. Yeah, guys, look at how the sparks are coming out so viciously because of all the pressure that's building up. It is going under the dirt like crazy. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Guys, it's pretty windy, so I do apologize if the audio comes through weird. Look at how that has gone through. And guys, it's just going to keep going. So let's go ahead and just wait it out. That is honestly so crazy right there. I can't believe that after all this time, it is still managing to throw some sparks out. That tunnel must be super long now. Look at that, guys. It's still going. Wow, I really don't know what to make of this. There's some smoke coming out at this point. Man, you can just kind of occasionally see how it's spitting out some sparks right there. Just so you guys can see it from another angle. Angle, there is the hole right there and that honestly must be pretty deadly it's still smoking like crazy so i'm not gonna dig it up just yet but guys we have created ourselves a miniature firework ant farm okay guys so all of the smoke has stopped let's go ahead and dig it up and see what we can find now i'm going to start simple and just open up right where it penetrated and yeah guys there really isn't a whole lot to see again but that dirt is actually pretty warm so maybe it's off to the side a bit more i really can't tell either way guys let's go ahead and move on Let's go ahead and see how the crackling ball performs. Crackling ball firework underground. <laughs> Ooh, you can kind of see how there's like this dry ice effect down in there. This time, let's go ahead and see how the main component performs right here. This should be absolutely insane. Oh, listen to that, guys. It sounds like popcorn. Just in case you guys don't know what these things do right here, let's go ahead and do three crackling balls at a time. <laughs> that was insane. And there goes the last little poof right there. I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited to see how the flower is going to perform underground. Just like all the other ones that I've did. Let's go ahead and start easy and have it on the side of the dirt. Look at that. Look at that jet just coming out of the dirt and it is officially done. And this time guys, let's go ahead and do the ground bloom underground as deep as we possibly can. Oh wow, look at the weird smoke effect that that has put off. Guys, the smoke is starting to dissipate a bit more. And, and if you take a look, it seems like all of this dirt is very wet. And the reason I say that is because if more water is starting to boil from that jet of the firework, guys, that probably explains why there's just a bit more smoke or steam coming out of the ground. That was really cool. And just for good measure, here goes one more. Really got to press it in there. Let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah, guys, it is just super smoky, but you can't really hear anything. And now, guys, we will go ahead and try the gigantic orange jumbo crackling ball. As you guys see there, this should be absolutely insane underground. All right, guys, I have it underground, so it'll make it really easy to bury quick. Here goes absolutely nothing. <laughs> Man. 
man, guys, that has managed to break out of the dirt a bit. And guys, take a look at this. Here is one of the hemispheres that held that crackling ball together. And if you guys take a look for a second, you can kind of see where that crackling ball came apart. And now guys, we will see how the crackling whip performs semi-partially underground. The tail is sticking out right there. So guys, I am really excited about this. Let's go ahead and see what happens. There it goes underground, guys. <laughs> now I have to say that did burn a lot quicker than I expected. And I think the reason for that is because of the pressure that built up when it was underground. And a lot of those crackling balls don't have anywhere to escape. So they just catch everything really quickly. Now, before we do the crackle barrel, as you guys see here, let's go ahead and try one of the crackers. This is going to be really cool. Firecrackers underground. Those have actually popped a little bit. Now, I can't say if that was absolutely all of them, but look at all of the smoke inside there. Yeah, guys, and if you take a look for a second, there's actually some of the firecrackers that have not popped. Vice versa, it looks like there's also another green one right here. Oh, maybe that did actually pop. Never mind. That was so insane. And now, guys, here goes the crackling barrel firework underground. Oops, this is the wrong lighter. Oh my goodness, guys. Can you hear it? That is going to start getting really crazy. Look at that, guys. There is so much smoke coming out of there right now. Guys, it has found a way to escape and look at the color of that smoke. I've managed to cover it up just a little bit more. And it looks like I was actually too late because the crackling barrel is now done or I have accidentally ruined it. All right, guys, now here goes the Venom Fireworks Titanium 100 pack. So guys, because this is covered and I am leaving the label on it, let's go ahead and just bury it and we will not have to worry about any water damage. All right, guys, three, two, one. Here goes a large firecracker strip underground. This should be really insane. Oh, that's actually a pretty slow fuse, so I have some time to get back and let's go ahead and see the aftermath. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at all those firecrackers that have split out of that. Now, I do have to say that was absolutely amazing. Now, let's go ahead and carefully dig this up right here and see what we've got. Yeah, guys, I do have to say that entire pack of 100 has gone off underground and that was very successful. And yes, guys, please remember, do not replicate anything in this video that you see. As I am a professional at this and you should always be safe with fireworks, no matter the cost. This is going to be absolutely insane. It is raining dirt everywhere. That was a tremendous explosion, guys, but it is nothing compared to the canister shell. And I do have to say it has loosened up this dirt by an extreme amount. That guys, it's coming out just like ore. There it is, guys. We've got the canister shell underground. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Crazy as always. Look at the ginormous hole that made. Oh my goodness.